Welcome to Zcast, everybody. I'm Zias Caraval from ZK Research, and I'll be your moderator in this panel-style Zcast, where I have uh, normally I only have one speaker, but I'm lucky enough to have two today. Uh, we're going to be talking SD WAN, and we're going to be talking SD WAN with Cisco in Megaport, who have actually created a pretty interesting partnership. Uh, before we get started, though, I do want to give a quick shout out to eWeek, my media partner. All Zcasts are done in conjunction with the eWeek eSpeak series. So uh, first up, uh, uh, Vipul Shah, Senior Product Manager from Cisco, SD-WAN Cloud, uh, Cloud on-ramp. Uh, Vipul, why don't you say hi to everybody? Hi, thanks for having us here, Zeus. And I'm also joined by Jim Brinksma from Megaport. You're the, Jim, you're the CTO of Megaport. Why don't you say hi as well? Hey, everyone. And uh, SD-WAN, of course, has been a really hot topic over the last couple of years, right? We're in this process of modernizing WANs. Uh, I think this is largely uh, driven by the cloud. And uh, and uh, you two companies have formed a pretty interesting partnership. Um, and so, Vipul, why don't you tell, tell us first um, about the new Cisco SD-WAN uh, SDCI, or Software Defined Cloud Interconnect solution that you came up with. Absolutely, Zeus. So, you know, it starts with our customers and solving their business needs. So, it, you know, it is well known that our enterprise ID customers are facing some common challenges as uh, so when connecting to their public and private cloud workloads. And let me cite you three examples before I get into uh, more details here, right? First, we understand that the internet offers only best effort connectivity and there can be inconsistency in network quality that can significantly impact application performance. Second, we also see that for some customers who are connecting via preset MPLS circuits, the cost of those lines may or may not be appropriate when they need cloud-like agility to scale up or scale down. And third, although private cloud direct interconnects are the most secure and best performing ways to connect, they require customers to plan upfront for capacity and global reach, which can lead to underutilization and spiraling cost. So what we thought was, what if we can help automate seamless connectivity with SD-WAN and to connect multiple cloud environments while avoiding all those complexities I just mentioned. So this is where SDCI providers like Megaport stood out for us. And while Megaport is providing private middle mile connection between network sites or connecting those sites to the cloud, our collaboration with Megaport simplifies the management of that entire network through one ubiquitous platform. And customers can use our SD-WAN controller vManage to deploy the Megaport underlay connection and the SD SD-WAN overlay fabric through one automated workflow. And within minutes, they can interconnect their sites, their intercloud workloads, or connect the sites to the multi-cloud workloads. So this is a collaboration and partnership we thought uh, will benefit our customers. Uh, just. Now, Jim, uh, what I like about what you guys are doing is you're focused on the, on the middle mile. And I think most SD-WAN solutions have been very last mile focused. And so, you know, you can fix that, but if you don't fix the middle line, then of course, you only get very limited benefits. So uh, can you just describe how the Megaport Virtual Edge solution works? Yeah, sure. So, I mean, we created the Virtual Edge um, as a service that allows our customers, um, you know, to host network functions on our private global software-defined network. Um, you know, the network has over 700 uh, Megaport-enabled data centers and over 200 cloud on-ramps. Um, to really all of the major cloud providers, um, you know, including AWS, Azure, Google, um, IBM, Oracle, Alibaba, and, and others. Um, you know, an MVA uses devices that have both, you know, network and compute capabilities. Um, on the compute side, you have the ability to spin up virtual instances of SD-WAN controllers and other network functions that may be applicable to you. Um, and on the network side, we have a transit gateway that's provided, um, you know, to our private network and you can connect branches to clouds, branches to branches, uh, branches to data centers, um, data centers, data centers, and, and so on. Um, we, we really tried to design the service to transform the way the companies connect their network edge, and we really look to optimize the SD-WAN connectivity. All right, so, you know, you've got the Megaport uh, MVE and Cisco's SDC. People, what are the benefits of bringing those two things together? And that's a great question, Zeus. So as Jim already mentioned, connectivity to clouds and multiple workloads, I think that's a great benefit. But let me start by saying that, you know, Cisco SD-WAN is the highest deployed solution in the industry today. I mean, we bring the most mature operating system 
And being the network pioneers, we want our customers to benefit from the innovation we bring to the industry. So, you know, we were first to deliver the SD-WAN solution uh, with SDCI, with our Megaport integration. And, you know, we want our customers to benefit. Now, when customers deploy critical applications in multi-cloud environments, then Cisco Cloud Interconnect with Megaport Virtual Edge delivers that global on-demand, secure, and enterprise-grade connectivity solution, all with a pre-provisioned private backbone from Megaport that guarantees SLA. So what this means is that IT providers can now accelerate their cloud transformation journey with on-demand consumption to connect any network, anywhere, anytime. And you know, network admins benefit with the full stack automation to make that a reality uh, for, their ID, for these IT providers. And all while addressing today's low cost, low latency requirements that will help our customers significantly reduce OPEX through the simplified solutions is. All right, and Jim, what, um, you know, from a, a Megaport perspective, what made Cisco such an attractive partner to you? I mean, clearly, as Vipol alluded to, I mean, they have the most widely deployed solution that's out there, you know, in, in the world today. Um, we also have a really good strategic relationship with the Cisco team where we're doing a lot of uh, joint development, um, you know, and we're making sure that each other's solutions, uh, you know, are optimized to take advantage of things like, you know, high performance connectivity, uh, low latency connectivity, and make sure that uh, our customers have, um, you know, optimal solutions for everything that they're looking at. I think we've got a great partnership and a great relationship, um, and uh, it's great to go to market with the Cisco team. Yeah, and what what I like about the partnership is it's a, it, you know, it it shows me that you know both companies understand that experiences, both employee and customer experiences, are really dependent today on the end to end network. I think, you know, too often network vendors tend to focus on their little area of you know of uh, uh, of their domain, but you know, from a user perspective, if I'm on a mobile device connecting to a cloud service. You know, that's going to cross a public network, a private network, another public network, another private network, and that end to end has to work together. And so, what the partnership does is it allows you know that experience to kind of be managed across the, you know the, that that entire spectrum. So um, <clears throat> now, partnerships uh, obviously are are great, uh, but maybe you could highlight some of the use cases for. Uh, Cisco's SDCI with MVME, uh, you know, people, I don't know if there's anything that comes to mind with you. Yeah, uh, you know, the big use case is connecting to the multi-cloud workloads. And you know, as we know, uh, as is that majority of enterprise customers today have a multi-cloud strategy. I mean, this is coming from Gartner surveys also. And, you know, before Cisco SD-WAN Cloud Interconnect, provisioning, managing, and orchestration of that connectivity to AWS or Microsoft Azure or Google Cloud, was done individually, right? Managing policies and VPN tunnels on top of that to each cloud would be operations intensive. And provisioning alone could take uh, weeks or sometimes months. Now with the Cisco Cloud Interconnect with Megaport Virtual Edge, customers can connect to any cloud through vManage where you get to provision the connectivity in minutes and manage end-to-end -end policies or scale your connectivity up and down easily. Uh, and this is not just uh, site to cloud, as we like to say, it's also cloud to cloud connectivity uh, on top of that. Yeah, the, the multi-cloud piece is interesting too. You say Gartner, my, my research actually shows that eventually 95% of companies will use both some combination of public and private clouds. I also think edge computing is coming, uh, you know, which is gonna add another layer to multi-cloud or you know, what I've been calling distributed cloud. And so that does require a different kind of connectivity because our compute fabric you know, in essence, becomes spans that distributed cloud environment, so our network has to evolve to keep with it. And so, uh, Jim, what are some of the use cases you think of? Yeah, I mean, um, so I'm going to piggyback. I mean, the, the, the three that you guys have already kind of talked about, I think it's worth, you know, mentioning that, you know, uh, ZS, as you mentioned, you know, previously you had to go to your ISP or telco provider and either provision individual connections, right? You know, largely they were point to point, either from your, you know, branch to a data center, then another from data center to data center. Um, and then, you know, there's additional configurations that might take place, you know, between branches, et cetera. And in a lot of cases, you know, that could take, you know, upwards of 30 to 90 days um, to make sure it got, you know, put in place and it actually started to work. Um, you know, and as Vipol mentioned, you know, we could now do that in minutes, right? Um, now with Cisco's SDCI and MVE, you could do this all, you know, via vManage um, and have everything, you know, up and running, just like uh, Vipol kind of alluded to. 
Um, and then you know, from our perspective, look, this uh, the solution's global and you can turn up these connections literally you know, anywhere in the world. Um, as long as you have visibility to a megaport enabled data center, you get access to whether it's multi-cloud routers, you're gonna get access to any of these other um, advantages that your, your company may be looking for, especially in a multi-cloud world. Yeah, I, you know, in, in some ways, uh, I almost think you're understating the value of what you can do with point and click connectivity. That 30 to 90 days is, uh, you know, if you're lucky, then they're gonna, they're gonna do a facilities check and then you might wind up managing, you know, hundreds of different providers if you're a global company. You gotta worry about the billing aspect of that. And it's like, it, it seems like the you know, MV greatly simplifies um, the operational side of running a global network because you, you build a lot of that complexity into your solution. So, um, you know, so if I'm a, if I'm a customer uh, and I'm interested, you know, in what Megaport's doing, uh, how do I get started? And, um, you know, can you go through some of the components of licensing, locations, things like that of, um, uh, of the solution? Yeah, sure. I mean, as part of the partnership and the efforts that we undertook, we really tried to simplify the entire process for, for everybody. Um, so, you know, right now it's offered as part of the Cisco uh, commerce workspace um, and customers really just need to purchase a couple components to, uh, you know, get the solution flowing. Um, you need a Catalyst 8000V Edge software license. Um, you're going to need the uh, um, SD-WAN cloud interconnect deployed at a Megaport network edge uh, pop. And then on top of that, you just need to create that cross connect, um, you know, to get your sites and to get into the clouds. Um, you know, right now we're available in over 20 locations uh, globally, again, across North America, Europe, uh, and Asia Pac, um, with lots more to come. Yeah, and I, I would assume that, you know, those, if you're a, a Cisco customer running their, um, you know, their SD, man, you've already got a number of those licenses in place anyway. So it seems like, a, you know, a, not a lot of heavy lifting from the customer standpoint to get here. So now, uh, can customers also order and deploy? Uh, Cisco Cloud interconnect through Megaport? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, the customers have the convenience of basically managing their fabric um, and the connectivity to the clouds and their branches all through vManage. Um, all the policy administration, connections, uh, vRouter instances, everything is visible to the user. Um, and then, you know, when purchasing the solution, really the only thing the user needs to do is select the bandwidth of the connection needed and the locations where they want to connect to and from. Um, we've really tried to simplify the entire process from end to end, from the time you install the equipment, to the time you select, you know, what you're what you're looking for, uh, to the time that your services are up and running. We really tried to simplify the entire process from end to end. And those bandwidths and connections are completely dynamic, correct? You can change Absolutely, them. yes. So, so what's interesting about that is when you think about the benefits cloud has brought to every other part of IT, it really hasn't impacted the network per se and brought that kind of ease of configuration and on-demand capabilities, but it sounds like that's a lot of the thought process that went into this. Now, Vibble, I want to uh, you know, pop back to you. You know, as you mentioned, Cisco's got the largest SD-WAN install base out there before, you know, the, and a lot of that comes from just the router heritage that Cisco had, right? There's not a company that that does WAN like Cisco does. So, um, you know, what's, uh, give us an idea what the future looks like though for Cisco SDCI. Very bright, uh, Zeus, uh, and, and Jim alluded to a lot of uh, good things there in terms of our partnership, right? So we, uh, you know, we see a strong customer interest and adoption for our joint solution, and we plan to continue investing in SDCI with Megaport, right? So in in near term, customers will see increasing connectivity and scale options. Some of those, as uh, uh, Jim mentioned, also. And for customers who require end-to-end -end encryption when connecting to multi-cloud via Megaport, they can extend, extend the SD-WAN fabric uh, beyond Megaport Edge and into the cloud by instantiating our cloud router in the cloud infra. So this is particularly beneficial for customers who are risk averse. Uh, they want to have end-to-end -end, uh, encryption and they want to have end-to-end -end security. So we plan to increase scale through higher bandwidth uh, for our cloud routers in the Megaport Edge, and we'll continue to invest uh, further. All right, well, thanks for uh, that update to both of you, Jim and uh, Vipal. I think uh, you know anybody out there today that's looking at doing um, uh, multi-cloud, which you know by and large is most companies, does need to rethink their network. I, I think, the, you know, like you said, historically, we've looked at SD-WAN as a last mile solution. Mm -hmm. um, and while that has provided some cost benefits and a little bit of performance benefits, mm -hmm. if you're a global organization, of course, the, the, you know, I, I actually think if you just focus on the last mile, you can actually have performances worse 
than what you had with traditional networks. And so to me, this is a good sort of uh, best of both worlds where you get the benefits of SD-WAN, but you also get the benefits of a private network. And so uh, on behalf of uh, uh, Vipul and Jim, I'm Zias Caravella from ZK Research. Don't forget to click to subscribe and see you next time on Zcast.